This is a campground. It's a bit pricey. Not many people here. Not many campers. This is a Renfro Valley Entertainment Center. And the cars are rolling in for the concert tonight. Saturday night at the new Barn Theater. A full crowd. Ronnie Millsap put on a great concert. The moon over Renfro Valley. Packing up the van to hit the road. It's Sunday morning. At Renfro Valley. Time to go to church. No, this is just a display. The Red Bud Schoolhouse. These are the buildings here in Renfro Valley where the music barns are. But there's not many open. In fact, I think maybe only two of them. This bling and things, jewelry outlet store, that was open last night. Oh, and the liquor store, <laughs> but not on Sunday morning. There's the liquor store. I don't know what these buildings were, probably restaurants, knick-knack, whatever. So this was the original building right here, barn where they would have the concerts. And it got so popular that they built the new barn. The new barn, and it's nice. Really nice inside. A great music venue because you're not too far from stage and anywhere you sit. Rest, relax, enjoy. You're in Renfro Valley. Well, that's what I'm doing. This is a Sunday morning, so nothing is happening. People dedicate bitches. I guess they're fans of the place. That parking lot was full last night and it took almost an hour for it to clear out there's so many people were here it was a full house and i think it holds about 1500 people It has a rustic motif outside that in. And let's check out the schedule. It builds itself as the musical capital of Kentucky. And let's go here to September. Amy Lou Harris is playing next weekend, Labor Day weekend. 
I saw Ronnie Millsap last night. He put on a good show. Still got that good singing voice. I don't know what OBT stands for. The place had to close down for a year and a half during COVID. And it struggled financially. That's probably why a lot of these shops are still closed. This is closed. This is closed because of Sunday morning. Hey, look at that. Port Sway. Rockers. Let me take a break here. Let's try out there, Port Swain. Oh yeah, this is great. All I need is a cup of coffee. Bittersweet. That sort of serves as a, as a metaphor for the way things have turned out since COVID. Oh, I got a historical marker. Let's read it. Renfro Valley, Kentucky. From Renfro Valley in November of 1939 originated the first series of radio broadcasts aimed at preserving the customs, culture, and music of the pioneer America. The Renfro Valley Barn Dance and Sunday Morning Gathering, carried by the network radio, consisted of local people and unknowns who later became nationally prominent in country music. Among those who starred, started their careers are Red Foley, Homer and Jethro, Lily May and the Coon Creek Girls, Old Joe Clark, Merle Travis, and numerous others. John Lair, producer of the Renfro Valley broadcast, took group representing American country music to a White House party Mrs. F. D. Roosevelt, that would be Eleanor, gave in honor of the King and Queen of England when they visited the U.S. Well, there's a lot of history attached to this. Not only the music, but in early radio broadcasting, national broadcasting. Let's, uh, let's go along this tunnel here. It's well done. Look at these stones here. They're all chipped out of a quarry. This is early Sunday morning. That's why nobody's around except me.
Well, I don't think the restaurant is open either. Historic Lodge Restaurant. Well, it's too bad. Looking back across the road at the, the barn dance. Yeah, there's the restaurant across the street. This is the back of the old barn. Entrance for entertainers only. I'm doing the back alley tour. And here's the new barn. Look how big it is. Thank you.